All right, welcome. We're here live at West Washington High School for tonight's annual Turkey Eve Classics, what I like to call it, between two county rival teams, the Salem Lions coming into West Washington here uh, this year and uh, taking on the Senators here tonight in this opening uh, basketball contest of the 23-24 season. Joining me uh, here tonight, uh, my partner this evening, Mr. Nick Ingram from Salem, uh, helping us out. So we'll try to give you a, an unbiased uh, broadcast. Uh, I mean, you know, we both got our favorites, but I tell you, I, my thing is I like all these kids on the floor from both teams. I've been around all of them, uh, you know, throughout my life, and uh, uh, a good group of kids, not, you know, not just on one side. I, I can tell you uh, I would take these 20 – four kids that are out here warming up right now any day because they are great kids and and I think we'll have ourselves a good basketball game here tonight Nick yeah I mean I agree again thanks for uh letting me do this oh, and um there's no letting to you we we enjoy it and I'm so glad that we were able to do that in football I got so many people said you know hey that was great that uh, that you guys were able to do it together and uh you know I know I know it's something you're looking forward to, and I love to see young people get involved in it because, you know, us old guys are getting old. <laughs> We're going to retire one of these days, and uh, it's coming not too far down the pike probably for me. <laughs> but, no, yeah, welcome back, and we're glad to have you, that's for sure. Yeah, like you said, you think it's going to be a good game. I agree. I mean, both of these teams looking for a win, trying to open the season 1-0. and um, Obviously, new coach for Salem, so that's right. something to keep an eye on. I think it'll be – a good game. I think both teams are going to bring their best tonight, even though it is the first game of the year. Yeah, absolutely. I agree 100 percent. Not only a new coach for uh, Salem, but also for West Washington. You know, Coach Cummings uh, taking over the reins here at West Washington uh, here this season. So, you know, he's a guy that uh, has a, a pretty good basketball background, just like Jalen Nice from Salem. I mean, I was calling this. Now I'm telling my age, Nick. <laughs> I was calling games when Jalen Nice was uh, probably in elementary school at uh, Salem, and I remember Jalen coming up as a player. And I tell you, if he if he coaches like he played and prepares uh, to coach like he prepared to play, he's going to make a great basketball coach for Salem. And and I was so glad when I seen that that Jalen got the job. I really was because. I felt like, you know, he was a kid that worked hard. It's his alma mater. Um, you know, love him or hate him as a person. He, he, he was very good when he played as far as preparation was concerned. I'd see him in the gym all hours of the day and night, and uh, even on the weekend sometimes I'd go in there and he'd be in there working out. But, uh, yeah, kudos to him. And then Coach Cummings actually come from – uh, Bedford North Lawrence. Uh, he played there with Damon Bailey back in those days. Played for Coach Dan Bush. Uh, has a pretty good basketball background as well. So these two guys coming in here uh, to uh, get their uh, looking for their first win of their coaching career, and it should be just a, a classic game, I think. Yeah, I, th I mean, uh, one thing for Salem, they got um, Jaden Cheatwoods out tonight. That's a huge yeah. loss for them. They're not. Um, Salem's a pretty they're gonna they're gonna be pretty young I don't they're not playing a, they've only got one senior really that will play but two seniors just because Sheetwood's out and that's a huge loss he was gonna yeah. bring quite a few points for him I agree and you know they they, they do they are missing some scores uh, you know as far as that goes uh, you know even yourself and you played last year you know and you were able to score the basketball and and uh, you know Jaden Cheatwood is a huge loss, I agree, for Salem because he is probably – well, he had definitely more varsity experience than the rest of their team, uh, you know, out there. I, you know, Jackson Bruff played quite a bit last year. Wilcox some, um, you know, but, but you know, Jaden is going to be a big piece of Salem basketball this year, no doubt. Yeah, and, like, with the experience, West Washington definitely has the advantage there. Jackson played probably five, six games. He got some quality minutes. He didn't play a whole lot last year. Wilcox, the same story there. Right. He got probably played two or three games where he got quality minutes. Everyone else is coming off a of JV. So right. I'll be curious to see how they come out. They had a scrimmage against Charlestown that I went to, and 
I didn't think they looked. I didn't think they looked nervous. They right. didn't play that well, but they didn't look nervous out there, and that's something that was big to see. Well, we talked a little bit about nerves. How about that JV game? Yeah. Double overtime. West Washington ends up winning it uh, there in the end uh, by a point, I believe it was. Yeah. It? I, I didn't even write. I think down it was score, one. But, but uh, Salem was able to come down and score there, and then um, you know the Senators pulled it out in double overtime. But yeah. I think tonight's game, as you mentioned, the Senators do have probably more experience on the floor. They're going to start four seniors, uh, some kids that have played quite a bit of basketball here at West Washington, uh, Jackson Cameron, uh, uh, Titan Williams, Ian Rosenbaum, and Kenton Chase, uh, all four seniors. And then uh, my understanding is, and we I don't know yet, I didn't uh, ask Coach Cummings before the game, but I believe Holden Russell – will be the other starter for West Washington here tonight, the freshman. Uh, a good freshman class uh, uh, from uh, from West Washington uh, coming in as well. We've seen that in the JV game. But West Washington has uh, several kids hurt, so they ended up finishing the JV game with four kids on the floor because they didn't have anybody to sub. Um, so, you know, that may be a thing for West Washington that will be a problem. I mean, once they get past their – their first five, it's pretty much going to fall back on JV players. Uh, whereas Salem, you know, a little, little more. I mean, they got some pieces to the puzzle. They, they got some kids that played a lot of uh, JV minutes last year. Uh, you know, you look at Adam Ball. You look at, uh, uh, as you mentioned, uh, Braxton Dean played quite a bit. Aiden Short, um, and then uh, they've got some freshmen that can play as well. I think Caden Romero Hembry is going to be a big piece for them. He's six four. Uh, so he's he's going to be uh, uh, one of the big guys that Salem hasn't had in years past, and I think that's a big key for them. I think you'll see uh, Caden. I know they started him in the uh, JV game probably just to get the nerves out of his system being on the floor first time this year, but I think uh, you know pretty much he's going to be a varsity player. Yeah, he'll definitely play quite a bit of varsity, and I think that really tonight's just going to come down to uh, – the mat, yeah, I think it's going to be a matchup between the bigs. I think if Romero, it's going to be, it really just falls on him to defend the paint for Salem. They don't really, outside of him, they don't have any height at all. I think Wilcox is probably right around six foot, maybe six one, and Braxton Dean's about the, about the same. But West Washington definitely has the height advantage, so I think it's going to be big if Salem can defend the painted area or not. That's going to really lead to if they win tonight or if they lose. Yeah, I think you're correct. And, you know, for West Washington, we, we flip it over and look at them. Last year, uh, you know, they, they didn't have a bad year. We lost a lot of close games that that we couldn't pull out. I think the keys, and we'll go to that, are Eddie Gilstrap Motors' keys to the game here tonight. I think for West Washington, it'll have to be the toughness. The, the, you know, the, I've told these kids all along, it's no secret. And uh, I won't say anything on the radio that I wouldn't say to them, but the, and they know it, that, uh, you know, they've got to be a little more tough, both mentally and physically, uh, you know, if they want to pull out some of those close games that they lost last year. So I think that's the key for the Senators here tonight. For Salem, you know, I kind of feel like the key for them is to find some scoring, uh, especially with Jaden Cheatwood out of the game. You know, somebody's got to pick it up and, and score, and I believe, you know, they'll. Uh, I'm sure they'll find a way, and I'm sure Coach Nice has worked on that a little bit. Um, hopefully, and talking about uh, talking about uh, him not being able to play tonight, Jaden. Um, you know, our, our thoughts and prayers with him. I know he, he had an auto accident um, and uh, suffered a concussion. He's in the protocol, but. Uh, I believe he'll be out and uh, hopefully back for the rest of the season tonight. Maybe the only game he'll miss. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I was hearing. Potentially this is the only game he'll miss. And really, I think that's just a big piece. If they can get him back, I, I mean, he, he's going to be huge. He he has the capability to average 20 points a game for Absolutely. him. And I don't – and I think that that's something that they're going to miss tonight. But I really do think it'll be a close game just if you – when you look at historically the, these, oh. the games between these two teams, I mean, I've been going since I was – Super little, and it's it's never a blowout. Never. I mean, and it doesn't matter who has what or who has what players. You know, uh, these games are always tight between Salem and West Washington, and that that's why it makes it such a great game. I think that combined with it being the Thanksgiving weekend, a lot of people in town, you know, for uh, Thanksgiving, and 
you know, this has just always been a staple. You know, that's what you do the night before Thanksgiving. You go to the Southern West Washington basketball game. And, um, you know, tonight's uh, no different than any other year. Uh, I think you're right. I think it's going to be a close game no matter what. And, uh, you know, I think it'll just come down to, uh, you know, which team is a little tougher, which team can find the basket. You know, you haven't really played at this point other than the scrimmages. I know uh, I think both teams when they scrimmage, you mentioned Salem scrimmage Charlestown, played with them, I think, you know, for the majority of that scrimmage. And then fourth quarter maybe Charlestown got a little bit out on them. But same way with West Washington. They went to Orleans. And it was the same deal. Played pretty tight for three quarters. And then, uh, you know, the Bulldogs able to, to, to take it away there in the end. But, uh, you know, that's that's why they have a scrimmage. That's why you go out there, you kind of work on things, try to figure out what you've got and what you need to work on. And, uh, you know, this, this game tonight will be something moving forward that both teams will be able to build on their seasons. Uh, other than just bragging rights, the game, you know, it's like any other game. You just go out there and try to play and win, and, uh, you know, I'm sure that's what we'll see from both teams here this evening. Yeah, and, I mean, Salem coming up. Right after this, they got Brownstown. Uh, yeah. So all their focus is definitely on yeah. this game. I don't – that would be one heck of a game to win. So they're trying to start their season off 1-0 and headed into that game, and I'm sure it's the same situation for West Washington. No one wants to start – behind no. in wins and losses you always want to start ahead and both these teams have a chance to do it tonight yeah i agree and i think uh as you mentioned i think you know it's one of those games where this is kind of that sets the tone for the season you find out what your strengths and weaknesses are uh moving forward and you, you know you're able to see what you have to do well whether it's shooting a basketball whether it's rebounding you know whether it's hustle whether it's toughness i think all those things are a part of the game and uh you know, basketball, uh, you know, people talk about football being a contact sport, but basketball is a rough game. I don't I don't care what anybody says. If you're not uh, physically and mentally tough, this game could tear you apart. And uh, I think we'll see a lot of that here tonight. Which team can handle that, um, you know, will be a big key to our game here this evening. Yeah, I think Salem shooting is going to be huge. I mean, in the scrimmage, um, we, had, we didn't shoot it real well. So I think that's going to be something to keep – an eye on if they're able to shoot it well today. Um, Evan played a real good game in that scrimmage, Evan Lloyd. Yes. He had over 20 points, shot the ball really well. But outside of that, the shooting was a little off. So hopefully they've got that worked out at practice over the last couple of days and they come out ready to go tonight. Yeah, I, I didn't mention. And, you know, you talk about Salem. You know, they got some kids. We talked some about Romero. But, um, you know, Evan is a, is a good basketball player, and I think – He'll be a big key for them as well, you know, coming in. Uh, his first varsity really experience as much playing time. We'll see that here tonight from him. And then, uh, as you mentioned, you know, Jackson Bruff, Alex Wilcox played some varsity last year, but not a lot of varsity minutes. So, really, Salem's going to start the game with not a whole lot of experience on the floor. I'd have to give that nod definitely to the Senators because they've got four, four seniors that, that's played a lot of varsity minutes. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm just curious to see how it affects Salem. If they, I could see them coming out a little bit slow just because of the nerves and everything in the game. But it's still a county game, and it's still the same case with both teams. I mean, even though no matter how much experience West Washington puts out there, they could still come out a little bit slow just like Salem. So sure. I think it'll just be – I think the first two, three minutes of the game will tell us quite a bit about how it's going to go. Yeah, I, you know, one thing that I'm curious to see for West Washington, and I know you, you follow Salem, I follow West Washington all year long, but uh, I thought last year really uh, we had to get more production offensively out of Kenton Chase. You know, he played the one last year a lot because he was our ball handler, he was a point guard, didn't, didn't really look to score as much. I think – you know, with Russell uh, being on the floor, that brings you a whole new component to maybe Kenton's game. And I think that's something that Kenton uh, is going to have to try to do more and that score uh, for the Senators to be successful, not only tonight, but throughout the season. Yeah, I think like you said, neither of these teams really has a clear-cut score that's just going to be their go-to guy every night. So that's something that is interesting. I think it's going to be kind of score by committee for both of these teams. And... But you never know. Some kid could come out tonight, have a real good game, and kind of set the tone for his season. And this is kind of where you figure that out. You, you learn to see, uh, 
you know, what you've got moving forward, as you mentioned. Salem will go on next week and play Brownstown. The uh, Senators will be on the road at Eastern Pekin on uh, next Friday evening. So, uh, you know, both teams, uh, you know, this is the start of it. And from here on out, it's kind of a uh, whirlwind. You know, because once you start playing games, it's just uh, it's game on from there. <laughs> it's about two or three times a week, and combined with practice, it's day in and day out. So uh, both of these teams, uh, like you mentioned, they're going to want to get a good start, get a win here tonight. That kind of sets the tone on maybe how your season's going to go. And I know Salem coming off a, a rough season last year, just got the one win over Mitchell. Uh, the Senators finished 11-12. and 12. So we're going to take a break. We'll hear a word from a sponsor and also have our national anthem. We'll be back here on your home for Senator Sports, West Washington live stream and WWSR. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're not just good at insurance. We're good at Matt's one-car, two-bedroom apartment with a home office slash home gym so. insurance. You, yeah. We're good at Nick's SUV and farmhouse with a remodeled kitchen slash art gallery insurance. And we're good at the Wilbur Suburban Home with a two-car garage slash rehearsal space insurance. Have you seen my hockey socks? Have you checked your sock drawer? Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. All right, we're back here live at West Washington uh, High School here on the Ron Smith Court. Uh, T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium as we're ready for the starting lineups. First for Salem. Number one, Adam Ball will get the start. He's a 5'10 junior for the Lions. At the other guard, number 11, Evan Lloyd, we talked about. He's a six foot sophomore for the Lions here. Alex Wilcox will start at one forward. He'll wear number 12. He's 6'3 and a senior. Uh, number 14, Jackson Ruff, will start at the other forward. He is 6'3 and a junior. And then Braxton Dean will also start for the uh, Lions here tonight as Braxton, six uh, foot two and a sophomore for a coach Jalen Nice here this evening. And now, <coughs> excuse me, for your Senators as they will uh, start the game here this evening. At one guard, a 5'11 senior, number three, Jackson Cameron. As Jackson will start, one of the seniors for this West Washington Senator Ball Club. At the other guard, a freshman, number 11, Holden Russell will get his first varsity start here tonight as he'll come out and start a three guard lineup for the Senators. Number four, Titan Williams will start at one forward as he comes out at 6'3", senior four. Uh, the Senators here this evening. And number 22, the three guard lineup here, Kenton Chase will get the start. He's a senior at 5'10", for the Senators. And at the other forward, number 12, Ian Rosenbaum, the six foot, four inch senior for West Washington 
as they start the Jamie Cummings air here. Two new head coaches, as we mentioned in the pregame, as they will uh, get their first as a coaching experience on the varsity level here this evening. So they'll come out, and that's how we'll get this game underway. Yeah, like we said, West Washington's got definitely got the experience we heard with the starting lineups, four seniors compared to Salem, but still, I think it's going to be a good game. Yes, I think so as well. So that's how we'll get it underway here as we get ready to start this basketball game as the Senators will jump in the middle with Titan Williams. He'll go against uh, Jackson Ruff and the Senators will control the tip. It'll come off to Russell. He'll cross the timeline, gets it off here on the near wing, Kenton Chase. Back to Russell. Now they'll go inside to Rosenbaum. He pulls it down. He walked with it. First turnover of the night against the Senators as uh, Ian just took one too many steps there. Yeah, beautiful shot. Hit the uh, fadeaway jumper, but he traveled before it. A little one-two uh, two pressure here by the Senators as the Lions try to get it up. Lloyd will bring it across the timeline, and he'll control the point for Salem as he'll break it to the far side. Now looks inside to Bruff, couldn't get it there. He flips it back out to Maul. Maul on the attack, he'll back it out now and try to set the offense. There looks like they want to get it down low on the block to Bruff. They do, he spins, throws up a wild hook shot, no good. Kent Chase with the rebound. Off to Jackson Cameron for a three. Can't get that one to go. Rosenbaum with the rebound. And that could be a problem with set four. He'll Salem come off to forward. Russell. He'll cross yeah, the I think they got a – that was a matchup the they tried Kent to exploit, Chase. though. Jackson was Russell. in the block with the freshman on him. I like that. But he just um, turned the wrong way, turned <laughs> into the pressure, and then got his shot blocked. Wilcox now with it for the Lions. He'll get it out to Bruff. Bruff top of the key, hands it off to Lloyd. Lloyd will back it up now. Gets it off to Maul here on the near wing. Adam on the attack. <coughs> Looks inside, now kicks it back out to Wilcox. Lloyd with it now. Off to Wilcox, far wing, down low to Bruff. You know, that's Dean with it, and it's taken away from him. Yeah, just got it stripped from him. Kenton going to go all the way, lay up, no good. <coughs> Rebound by Titan. He pulls it down. Thank you for taking over. I about <laughs> lost it there, but... Uh, Titan with the uh, rebound, first foul tonight. Going to go against Bruff, his first foul tonight. Yeah, Salem's a little uncomfortable with the ball here early. I think that it's a lot of passing, a lot of trying to get it out of each other's hands, and they got to establish someone that can take control of the ball, just like they are getting it stripped from him, went the other way with it. And then lack of rebounding is what led to that, but he hits the first free throw. Yep, Titan steps to the line, able to knock that first one down. He'll get another one here as the Senators lead three to nothing here with 6.22 to go here in this first quarter, just underway if you're tuning in here with us. Williams second free throws up and it's good, so tight and perfect on the first two free throws of the season. And the Senators set the defense. Salem trying to break it here. One, two, two pressure with Rosenbaum out top. He'll get it off the Bruff and back to Mull. He'll drive, kicks it to Lloyd. He'll shoot the three off the mark, rebound Bruff inside, back up and he got it. Nice job there by Jackson. Yeah, that was a good look on the three. Just missed it, and Bruff was there to take, to get the rebound. And he just plays really hard. I mean, he always has since we've been, we played since we were five years old. He's right. always just played hard. Yeah, he has. They'll get it off. Will the Senators to Kent Chase? It gets tipped away from him. Out to Russell. Russell pulls it back out. Now he'll set the offense. Gets it off to Chase here on the near wing. Back to Russell. Holding with it, looking inside, gets it to Rosenbaum on the cut. He throws up a runner, can't get it to go. Rebound pulled down inside there by Braxton Dean. He'll get it off the mall, and the Lions back the other way. West Washington four, Salem two here. Far side, Wilcox with it. He'll get it off to Lloyd, top of the circle, off the mall here on the near wing. He'll drive it back out, kicks it off to Deaton, or Dean on the far side. Now the mall on the cut inside. He'll go up with it, and he scores the basket. Yeah, beautiful cut there from Adam and a um, great pass there to get hit him on the cut for the wide open layup. Yep, four to four, tie ball game. Russell brings it back up for the Senators. He'll walk across far side, gets it off to Cameron. Jackson with it, now looking back out to Russell, now off to Kenton Chase. Kenton Chase now over to Rosenbaum, inside it goes to Williams. Titan on the block, he'll spin, goes against Bruff, loses his footing, but a nice shot in the paint there by Titan Williams. Yeah, and that's a mismatch there for West Washington yeah. size-wise. I think Jackson, both of them are pretty strong, but uh, it's just a 
probably a three inch height difference there. Yeah, I think uh, about 6'1 versus almost 6'4 there, 6'3 by Titan. So seven back the other way here. They trail by two, Mull with it, far side. He'll bring it back out, looks to the far wing, nothing there, so he'll set the offense. Coach, uh, nice uh, yelling instructions from the sideline here, trying to get his offense going here. Six to four, West Washington. They'll kick it off to Lloyd on the far wing. He gets double teamed, gets it back out to Mall. He drives, kicks it out, three ball on the air, and it's good. Shot there by Wilcox. Yeah, beautiful shot there from Alex on the wing. He's not necessarily a shooter, but he knocked that one down, and it looked pretty. Yeah, he was wide open, and uh, he makes them pay as uh, the Lions take their first lead of the night, 7-6. to six. Kenton Chase with it here on the near wing for the Senators. He'll drive baseline. Nobody can stop him inside. He gets, goes up wild shot, goes off the back of the board, and a battle for the basketball now on the floor. We got uh, Dean and Cameron. There, ha there should have been a call there underneath on Kenton's drive. He drove it hard, ran into a Salem defender, hit the floor, but there was no whistle. Yeah, that's a turnover for the Senators, so it'll go back to Salem on the alternating possession. Arrow favoring the Lions right now. They lead it 7-6. to six. Mole will bring it up for Salem as he'll walk it up the court. He crosses the timeline, gets it off, and Lloyd can't handle it. Another turnover there by the Lions, their second. So both teams with a couple turnovers here early as we're midway through this uh, first quarter. Yeah. Seven to six, Salem. Not really a bad pass, just wasn't able to corral it and it went the other way. Rosenbaum off to Cameron, back over there to Russell, now back to Chase. Kenton controls it, gets it off to Russell in the corner. He'll back it down, gets it inside to Rosenbaum. Ian spins, hadn't been able to find his shot. He throws up another runner, no good off the front of the rim. Ball tipped away by Russell, and they're going to get holding for a foul, I believe. Yeah, just an effort foul there, one that the West Washington can live with. He almost took the ball from Bruff, but then just pushed him as they were both going to the floor. Yeah, good hustle. You can't fault the hustle, but he's got to be careful there and uh, tried to uh, dive in there and take the ball away, and he gets called for the personal, his first. Ball will bring it up for the Lions, 3.05 to go here in this first quarter. Salem 7, West Washington 6. Far side it goes to Dean, now back out to Mole. Adam with it, he'll get it off to Wilcox, down the corner to Lloyd. Lloyd back out high to Mull, far side to Dean. Dean looking, finds the cutter, and Wilcox baseline, nice shot. He got it, he scores his fifth point of the night. Yeah, and, can, yeah go ahead. The contested line. shot there, and he made it, and that was just a good cut again. They've, they're cutting really well. Yep, nine to six here. Now Kenton drives, the bay, or drives it right into the hole, and that's what he's got to do for West Washington as he scores his first bucket of the night. So it's back to a one-point lead here, 9-8, to eight, Salem. Absolutely, and that's just – Adams is just a little bit slower than Kenton, and he takes advantage. Lloyd the other way, off the mall. Mall will drive it. Now he gets cut off baseline, out to Wilcox. Wilcox back to Lloyd. Lloyd far side to Dean, and he throws it inside to Wilcox. Alex baseline, pulls it back out, gets it to Mall. Adam with it. 2.02 to go here in the first quarter. Salem 9, West Washington 8. He'll get it off to Wilcox. He'll cut down the lane, Will Lloyd, and he tries to get it to him, but Russell tips it out of bounds. It'll go back to Salem. Another good hard cut for Salem, and uh, it just good defensive effort there from Russell to get a hand on it and avoid giving up the wide open layup. Yep, absolutely. Romero will check into the game for Salem. They'll kick it in bounds. It'll come into Wilcox out high. He'll flip it to Lloyd. Now in the corner to Mall. Wide open three for Adam. He can't knock it down. Battle for the board is going to go against, or it's going to be a foul called against Dean there as he went up over the back of Rosenbaum. Yeah, just used his arm to clear him out and then kind of batted the ball away. Obvious foul. Good, good look, though, for Salem. Yeah, I mean, wide open three in the corner as Adam's going to exit the game for short. But I, I like that look for him. Yep. Short will come into the game for the Lions. Aiden Short, the 5'10 sophomore, so he'll check in his first varsity action here of the night as he'll come into the game. West Washington back the other way. Kenton Chase with it, gets it off to Russell, now back to Kenton, and he loses it. Another turnover by West Washington on the steal. Dean will bring it up. He'll get it out to Lloyd. Lloyd off to Romero. He'll shoot the three, can't get it to go. Rebound inside by Titan Williams. 
And he'll hand it off to Kenton Chase, and Kenton will bring it back up for the Senators. Yeah, another good look for the Lions. Um, Romero just didn't set his feet there. He looked a little rushed on that three-point attempt, and he just missed it, and it'll go the other way. Nine to eight, Salem with a one-point lead, 105 to go here in this first quarter. Far side, it'll go to Mullet, and another travel. So the Senators have four turnovers here to, in this fourth, uh, first quarter, and that's been a problem for them. Uh, Rosenbaum just not getting his feet set as the Senators will sub again as they'll bring uh, Cameron back into the game and Carson Mullet in as well for the Senators. Far side short with it for the Lions. He'll look, nothing there. He kicks it back out high to Wilcox. He'll go down in the block to Dean. He'll pull up, six-footer, got it. Nice shot there by Braxton. Yeah, West Washington, different look there in that zone defense, and Braxton just made a nice shot. 11-8, Mullet with it. He'll get it back out high to Kenton Chase. Kenton with it on the attack, drive, throws up a runner. Can't get that one to go. Battle for the board, pulled down and out of there by Short. And I think that's something they need to do a little bit more is get him on the attack. I mean, he just missed that layup, but it was a pretty open look there. Short off to Lloyd now. He'll bring it out high, and he'll kick it far side back to Aiden Short. Now back to Wilcox, top the circle, over here to Lloyd on the near wing. He traveled with it. Yep, sure did. And another turnover for the Lions, their third. Just looks a little bit unsure of himself here early. He's just, everything's just a little bit too quick. He's needs to slow it down a little bit, and uh, they're going to check him out for Wyatt Shastine. Yeah, a lot of substitutions coming in here for the Lions. They've played about everybody. Mullet on the far side, he'll get it off. Over there in the corner to Rosenbaum, he'll put up a three, no good at the buzzer. So that's going to end the first quarter of play. And the Lions will take the first quarter here as they lead it 11-8 over the Senators. We'll take a quick break and come back here on your home for Senator Sports, West Washington Livestream, and WWSR. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. All right, back here live at West Washington High School as we end the first quarter. Salem up. 11 to 8 here. What do you got for us, Nick, on the first quarter stats here? Yeah, I mean, turnovers, three turnovers for Salem, two for West Washington. I thought it would be a lot more, and it's really not, but I think the difference in that half was uh, the shooting. I mean, Salem was able to hit a three. They're four for five on two-point field goals, whereas West Washington's 0 for two on threes and three for nine on two-point baskets, and uh, Salem leads it 11 to 8 at the break. Yep, good job, and uh, I, I had West Washington for four turnovers, but uh, those guys are better at stats than I am, <laughs> but, you know, I, I may have counted a couple there that didn't, but I know Rosenbaum traveled with it twice at least, and then uh, we lost the ball a few times, did the Senators. They'll get the ball to start the second quarter. Titan Williams with it, back out high to Kenton Chase. Kenton, far side to Titan, down the corner to Cameron, back out to Titan, off to Russell. Russell with it, looking inside, throws it down on the block to Rosenbaum. He'll spin, kicks it back out. Now to Chase, he'll drive, and he gets fouled in the lane. He'll go to the free throw line here, it looks like. Yeah, and he's just so quick. They're able to swing it to him on the wing there and just makes one move, gets around the top of the Lions defense there and then gets into the lane, and all they could do is foul him or give up a wide open layup. Romero Hembry picking up the first, his first foul, the team's uh, first of this quarter, and that's a different rule this year, something we haven't talked about. Uh, you get five fouls a quarter, and then you're shooting free throws, unless it's on a shooting foul like this one was for Kenton Chase. He knocks down the first free throw. 11 to nine here, a two-point game. Kenton's second one's up, and it's good as well. So, it's a one-point game once again. 11 to 10, Salem with the advantage. Ball up quickly with it. He'll break the timeline, kicks it back out now as he'll dribble back out high. 
And Salem trying to set up the offense. They'll get it off to Will Cox. He'll spin. Kicks it far side to Dean. Dean with it, looking down low. And it's stolen away almost by the Senators as they tried to get it down to Romero on the block. And it was tipped out of bounds by Cameron. So it'll go back to Salem. Mauled inbound underneath his own bucket here as he'll look to get it in. Flips it out to Will Cox. And he'll pull it down, shoot another three. And he hit it. Yes. His eighth point of the night, he's a, he's perfect on three-point shots, two for two, and he's going to keep shooting that if they're going to give it to him. Yeah, he's hot, and, you know, they got to find him as he's uh, been uh, the biggest part of the offense for Salem. Kenton chase back the other way. It's still here on the near wing. He goes on the attack, now pulls it back out to Cameron. Off uh, out high, it comes to Russell. Now over in the corner, Rosenbaum back to Kenton Chase. Chase with it, gets it off to Cameron. He'll flow it down to Rosenbaum. Ian pulls the double team, now spins in the lane, goes up strong, and he can't buy a bucket. And he gets a foul as he jumps back in bounds, and they call him for it there as he got a hand on uh, Romero. Yeah, really good defense there for Braxton Dean down there at the block. Just stayed straight up, didn't get bullied out of the paint, and just held his ground and was able to contest. 14 to 10 here, Southern with the four point advantage as they'll inbound. Uh, Dean to get it in. He'll get it in the mall. Low pressure here once again by the Senators. Braxton Dean with it. Far side gets it across. Ball tipped away, but Ball pulls it down. Goes to the rim. Can't get it to go. Rebound to Rosenbaum. Now Ball steals it back. And almost stolen by Chase. Ball spins out of it. Can't get it to go. Rebound now by Holden Russell. Russell will pull it down. He's up quickly. Gets it over to Colton Brown in the corner. His three good. Yeah, unfortunate series for there for Salem. I mean, Adam had a, two wide open layups, yep. wasn't able to hit either of them, then they give up a transition three like that. Yeah, good job by Mo on the hustle taking the ball away, but uh, they uh, got it up quickly, did the Senators, and got it off to Colton Brown who checked in, and he uh, makes them pay with that deep three ball. 14-13 here, Salem one-pointed lead. They'll get it off to Dean here on the high on the circle. He'll spin around, takes the lane wide open. He can't get the shot to go. And there's going to be another foul over the back. I believe they're going to get uh, Caden Romero Hembry on that uh, foul. That's his second. Yep. And really on that possession there, Braxton Dean missed uh, Alex Wilcox. He was wide open on a cut. He's already got eight points and um, try to take it himself and just miss another layup. Salem's got to connect on those short baskets. You're right, and, and he's got to find the open guy. Dean had a good look at it, couldn't get it to go, but uh, he did have uh, Wilcox wide open. Senators back the other way. Cameron gets it out to Kenton Chase. Kenton on the attack again, drives it, kicks it baseline to Titan Williams. Now out high it'll come. Russell with it, back to Titan on the block. He'll spin, goes around, reverse layup, and he's fouled on the play. I think Bruff. Got him on the arm there as he spun around. Nice move by Titan. Yeah, that's going to be on the floor, I believe. So no free throws off that. And Jackson just um, was kind of got himself into a bad position there defensively. And all he could do was foul or yeah. give up a wide open layup. He's going to check out. I believe they put Evan Lloyd in for him. Yes, they did. And that was his second too. So uh, rough with two fouls as well, him and Hembrick. They'll get it into Russell. Russell finds the cutter. Ian Rosenbaum pulls it down. Can't get another shot to go. He's just been uh, either long or short with his shots as Russell hasn't or Rosenbaum hasn't been able to score. Mole back the other way for Salem. He'll get it off to Short. Short comes out high to Dean. Dean top of the circle. He'll kick it off to Mall here on the near wing. Mall looking. Now back out to Wilcox. He's had the hot hand for Salem to Lloyd. Now to Dean. He'll pull it down. Baseline jumper. Can't get it to go. Rebound pulled down by Cameron and he'll get it off. Heavily contested shot. Coach Nice looked upset with that one. And that's just one that uh, Braxton Dean's not necessarily comfortable shooting. Right, they'll get it off. It'll come to Colton Brown. Now inside it goes to Rosenbaum, tipped away from him. It'll go back to the Senators. It looked like Rosenbaum touched that ball last. Yeah, I thought it was off of his leg, but yeah. the officials have a better view than we do. Ian's working hard, but I believe he's a little frustrated. His shots just haven't fell. And uh, they'll get it out high to Russell. He gets hit in the face. And it'll be a turnover, though. No foul called as Maul uh, tipped it off of him out of bounds. So uh, another turnover by the Senators. I've got them for five, but I'm sure I'm off a little bit. <laughs> so they'll kick it back in. It'll come in to Maul. One-point lead for Salem, 14-13. 
Lloyd with it far side. Now he'll kick it back out high to Dean off to Mole. Now baseline Wilcox open again. Blocked by Williams though. Nice job by Titan recovering and they'll get it off to Kenton Chase. He'll bring it up quickly. Goes baseline, gets cut off, finds the wide open Colton Brown. Another three ball up, no good. Rebound pulled down inside there by Salem's Lloyd. That's He'll get it off to Dean. That's a shot that West Washington is okay with. He'd already hit one on the previous couple possessions ago, and he's wide open there. Yeah, he's capable too. I mean, he can light it up. I saw that some in junior high last year. Ball now, he'll take a three. He can't get it to go. Rebound pulled down there by Russell and holding back the other way for these Senators. He'll get it off to Chase. Kenton will control things out front as he'll set the offense for West Washington, looking to regain the lead here. They haven't had it since early in the game. Kenton will pull it down, shoot a 16-footer off the mark. That ball contested and not a good shot there as uh, he tried to force something and set him with the rebound. Maul will bring it up. He gets it across the timeline. Looks far side, gets it off the short. Short trying to find a cutter, almost stolen by Rosenbaum, but it bounces to Wilcox. Now Short will pull it down. He'll shoot it off the mark, rebound Russell. Russell back, nope, timeout going to be called here by West Washington. 3-11 to go here in the second quarter. We'll take, and oh, it's a 30-second. We'll stay here with you. What do you think to this point? I mean, I think the shot selection for both teams has been okay. It's just been a lack of knocking down the shots. I mean, those last two shots, one for West Washington, one for Salem, maybe maybe weren't the best looks they could have got, but outside of that, the shot selection's been all right. It's just been a lack of knocking the shots in for both teams, not just one way. Yeah, you're right, and, and it, it hasn't been a bad uh, selection. Uh, I didn't like that shot there by Kenton, even though a lot of times he'll knock those down. Uh, I would like to see West Washington run a little more offense. They've had Ian Rosenbaum open a lot, but Ian just struggling getting his shot to fall, and he's just got to keep shooting those. He's had some good looks. And uh, now Shockey will check in for the Lions, so he'll see his first uh, action here of the season, and so he'll come in for Salem. Colton Brown with it for the Senators. He'll kick it off to Rosenbaum. He looks down low, gets it into Williams. Titan with it. He'll spin, jump stop, and can't get the shot to go. Battle for the board. And Titan's going to get the foul as he went over the back there. Yeah, just um, that's and it, that's a matchup that's pretty contested there between um, Braxton and Titan. Neither of them are really that much taller than each other. Both of them similar size. That's probably not the best shot for him, um, but not a terrible shot. Like we said, shot selection hasn't been that bad. No, it really hasn't. Adam Mull with it now. Pressure here by Rosenbaum, and Coach Nice has to call his first timeout. So with two. 41, he'll take a 30-second timeout here because they were getting real close to a 10-second call. Yeah, I thought that it was probably right at around eight or nine seconds there when the timeout was called. So that's just a matter of saving that possession is why that timeout was called. But I think for West Washington, they need to get Chase going downhill yeah. more. I mean, he's he hasn't been stopped. There's no one on the perimeter that's been able to guard him tonight. He's gotten downhill to the rim every time and just work off of that. But right now, I think they're pretty content with just working around the perimeter instead of trying to get it inside. And Salem's interior defense has been good. Something that I, I mean, I said it before the game started. I'll be curious to see how they look. It's looked really good. I mean, no fouls really on nope. that interior, and they just played hard, straight-up defense. I agree. They've done a nice job, but you're right. Kenton, both points are very valid. Kenton's got to take it to the basket. Shockey with it now in the backcourt. He gets cut off there by Rosenbaum. He'll get it across to Lloyd. Lloyd gets it back out to Shockey. Far side, it'll go to Mall. Adam with it. Kind of a 2-3 zone here by these Senators as they'll set up their defense here. Mole will pull it down now and just be content with a one-point lead, 14-13. Lloyd, he gets it off to Shockey. Two freshmen there. Or no, Lloyd's what, a sophomore? A sophomore, okay. yeah. Off the mall on the far side. He picks up his dribble, now gets it back to Lloyd. He'll pull it down, shoot a deep three ball off the mark. Rebound Colton Brown for the Senators as he'll get it to Kenton Chase. Chase up quickly with it. Now he'll drive, goes to the hole, kicks it out. Rosenbaum, Ian drives, and he gets his first bucket. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying that they have to do more of. Just like that, that was beautiful. Uh, drive there by Chase and a good kick and then Rosenbaum did the same thing that Chase did driving it to the rim and that's just what they got to do every time because Salem has no answer to that. 
Oh, got trapped there, gets it off to Shockey. Now he'll throw it down there to Lloyd. He'll pull another trigger on a three and buried it. Nice shot there. He gets his first varsity bucket as he knocks it down there, 17 to 15, a two-point lead for Salem. And that's the look that they want. All of his threes, he looked a little rushed, didn't necessarily get his feet set. He had his feet set there, was just catch and shoot, and he knocked it down. 17-15, Salem with a two-point lead. Rosenbaum off to Kenton Chase for the Senators. He looks now off to Cameron. Got to get Jackson involved a little bit. He's their shooter, and uh, he hadn't taken but one. That was early in the contest. They'll go low on the block to Williams again. Titan will spin. Nice move. Can't get the bucket, though, as he gets around Dean. And he goes down. Now they get it off to Maul. Maul will bring it up for the Lions, taking his time here. Two-point advantage for Salem. He'll get it off far side to Shockey. He gets trapped back out to Maul. Maul now trapped coming. He'll get it to Lloyd. Back to Maul. Maul with it. Yeah, Salem taking their time here against that 2-3 zone, as they should. Shockey now gets it oh. blocked from behind. Oh, and that one, one official's calling a foul. The other one that really had the call was on the far side, and he's going to call it against Cameron. Yeah, I think that that one, there was definitely a lot of contact, but I think he got the ball first. I'm not a huge fan of that call. He definitely blocked the shot from behind, but um, I don't really think there was that much contact to Shockey. So Shockey will go to the stripe. He gets the first free throw up. It's no good. And he'll get another one here with this. That's what we were saying with the new rule, folks. If you didn't realize it, now there's five fouls per quarter. And uh, every time you go to the line after that, uh, or on a shooting foul in this case, he gets two free throws. But uh, when those five fouls occur, you'll get two free throws. No more one and one He misses both. So Shockey can't get his first points of the evening. And West Washington will have it here, down two with 18 seconds to go here in the first half. Russell will hold it out front as the clock winds down here. Now they'll get it off to Chase. Kenton with it on the attack. And Maul fouls him as he beat Adam around the corner there. And that's what West Washington, they realized that Kenton, uh, you know, Maul, Maul's quick, but he wasn't going to stay with Kenton there on that, and he had to foul him. No, there's not, there's not anyone in a Salem jersey right now that's quick enough to keep up with Kenton when he gets downhill like that. So I think that that's something that they need to exploit in the second half. Four seconds now. Titan Williams with it. Gets it out. Cameron wide open. Three deep ball. Couldn't get it to go. And that is the end of the first half. So the Lions will go into the locker room here as they lead it 17-15 to 15 over the uh, – West Washington Senators says we'll take an extended break here and come back on your home here for Senator Sports West Washington live stream and WWSR. It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. It is our weekly conversation with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. I'm Brendan King, in for the Coach Bob Lovell on the Commissioner's Corner as we get set for a great weekend in downtown Indianapolis, the IHSAA football yeah. state finals at Lucas Oil Stadium. Paul is with us right here. Paul, always a great weekend. I just wanted to get your thoughts quickly on all the preparation, all the travel, everything that goes into a football season. What does this weekend mean to you? Well, it, it means, you know, honestly, it means a lot, but it, it I told, as I told the group yesterday, uh, this uh, we won our state championship until at the association, you know, and, and our our state championship happens every day, uh, after school, in the weight room, on the field, on the court, whatever, with uh, coaches, and and the ability to learn these lifelong lessons that you get to be as part of the team, but. What's not to celebrate in the greatest venue, uh, professional, one of the greatest venues professionally with Lucas Oil Stadium and, and certainly celebrating on the same field as the home of our Colts, incredible sponsorship. And, you know, it's, uh, we're going to walk through, we're going to play indoor, and I'm going to text my counterpart in Illinois and tell him what a wonderful day it is in Indiana. Well, he's playing outside all weekend. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> there is that. So, uh, Paul, quickly. So, I'm, you know, I'm from Illinois. My senior year, my high school went to the state championship at the University of Illinois in Champaign. I called the game as a 17 year old kid in the cold with with cold breath coming out of my mouth with every word I said. So, I'm definitely thankful to be doing the game in the warm press box at Lucas Oil Stadium. Hey, I want to ask you about this: that you're going to play six games on the Lucas Oil Stadium turf, and then the Colts are going to play there on Sunday. It's the second time in three years that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are in town. The last, a guy named Tom Brady was the quarterback for Tampa. But for the kids, what does it mean that they're going to play on the field either 48 or 24 hours before NFL guys are going to? That's so unique. It is unique, and it's unique. The partnership is unique, first of all, with the Colts. But the being able to go in that facility and play uh, as the curtain raiser is for our professional team on Sunday. And, you know, there's a lot of buzz in the building, especially as the build on Saturday, as they're preparing that building for an NFL broadcast. Uh, our kids will walk out, and they'll see all the carts and the cameras and all the equipment that it takes to put on an NFL game. And I think they, they, uh, they realize how special it is. Well, I know they do. Uh, but I always try to keep them grounded. As I was talking to some of the student athletes yesterday at our at our meeting, and I said, you know, I always walk in this building, and I look up and I wonder how many bales of hay I can fit in this building. <laughs> so, you know, it, it's again, it's it, it's it's an incredible facility, but it's still, you know, it, it's still a building, and it's still got the same lines on it as a high school field, and it's still the same distance from one end to the other. So, um, they'll play football just like they do every other game throughout the year. Paul Nidig is with us on the Commissioner's Corner. I'm Brendan King in for Coach Bob Lovell. Paul, I know the two-way game will mean a lot to you. Heck, all of them mean a lot to you. But after all, your alma mater is playing. You're from Poseyville. You're a North Posey grad. North Posey to the state title for the first time. What does that mean to your heart? Well, you know, I have such fond memories of growing up in that community. And and the thing that really is special for me is to see people that – that watched me play on the basketball court when I was in high school uh, are still there. They're still in the crowd. They're mm-hmm. still in the crowd, and I'll be able to uh, reestablish some relationships. And they they never leave when you grow up in a small community. But you, you're able to see people, and I'll see the guy who I picked up pay with, and I'll see the guy who. Uh, um, you know, that that ran the local store in town, and I'll see, you know, all those people will be there because they'll turn the lights off when they leave. They'll all be there. And it'll be it's just special to see the community that I grew up in come up and be able to celebrate such a phenomenal weekend. I'm lucky enough to have the call of that game on the IHSAA Champions Radio Network, so we'll certainly look forward to that. 1A, 3A, and 5A on Friday, 2A, 4A, and 6A on Saturday. He is the commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Nodding, taking some time on the commissioner's corner. Paul, congratulations on everything this year with your team. I look forward to seeing you this weekend. Thanks, Brendan, and I will absolutely see you this weekend. Paul Nodding, the commissioner's corner. I'm Brendan King, and for the coach, Bob Lovell, have a great championship weekend. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community. Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller, I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, Donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions, big and small, to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, we will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. 
If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community. All right, back here live at the half. Salem up to 17 to 15 and kind of a slow uh, ball game, much like what we expected and a tight ball game, just like we expected. They're making us look awfully good about our pregame. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Salem leading it here by two. And, uh, you know, both teams have done some good things. Both teams have some things to work on. But uh, Nick has our first half stats here, so we'll let him run those down for us. Yeah, so obviously the scores is Salem 17, West Washington 15. Doing the scoring for West Washington so far, Titan Williams four points, Ian Rosenbaum four points, Kenton Chase four points, Colton Brown three points. For the Lions, it's been Adam Mull with two, Evan Lloyd with three, Alex Wilcox with eight, Jackson Bruff with two, and Braxton Dean with two for a total of 17 points. Looking at the other stats, uh, one thing that stood out to me, Salem leads the assist six to one. That just shows how efficient their offense has been when they get into their sets they've cut hard they've hit the cutters and they've hit some wide open layups as well um turnovers have really hurt west washington i got it we got it at four to three not sure how accurate that is it's definitely close to that and shooting for west washington has been something to work on they're one for five from three point range four of 15 from two the lions are four of ten from two and three of nine from three-point range. Um, Salem hasn't hit a free throw. West Washington's hit four. So that's the first half stats. Yeah, good job, Nick. And uh, I, really the difference in the ball game so far has been the shooting, I think. You know, Salem shot it a little better. They've definitely hit the three ball. They got three three-pointers. West Washington just with the one by Colton Brown who come into the game there. So, you know, Senators have had some good looks, just haven't been able to get them to fall. I don't know. What's it show uh, Ian Rosenbaum shooting-wise? Uh, um, two of seven for Ian. Yeah, he struggled getting the ball to go in the hole. Had some great looks, but he just hasn't been able to score the basket. And, uh, you know, that's something that those shots will fall. You know, he's not taking bad shots. They just haven't went in for uh, West Washington. So, uh, they've just got to keep doing what they do. I think Salem, though, uh, done a nice job, uh, you know, in that first half of uh, of getting good looks as well. And, uh, you know, I think both teams, like you mentioned early on, shot selection has been pretty good both ways. We haven't seen anything wild out of either team. Yeah, I think West Washington's key is they need to get Rosenbaum going yep. and they need to get um, Titan Williams going in the paint because they have the high advantage over the Lions. And if they can get going, along with Chase getting to the basket, like we've said it a couple times already, he needs to get downhill. He did there towards the end of the first half and was able to create some nice offensive looks for him. So I think really if they can do those two things, they've got a good chance of coming back. I mean, only a two-point game. But uh, I think for the Lions, just more of the same for him. They have to continue to knock down the shots, continue to run their offensive sets and hit the open man like they have. Yeah, Salem will come back out with their starting lineup. So it'll be Braxton Dean, Adam Mull, Evan Lloyd, Alex Wilcox, and Jackson Bruff. Senators uh, the same. They're going to come back out with the four seniors and uh, Holden Russell, the freshman, for West Washington. Salem will get the ball to start the third quarter as they'll kick it in to Bruff at the free throw line. He'll hand it off to Lloyd. Lloyd off to Dean now. Dean looking inside, gets it down low to Bruff. Mismatch there. Russell on him. He can't get the shot to go. Dean with a hustle a job inside and a timeout called there by Salem as Dean was probably going to get called for a travel, but nice job there by getting the timeout by, uh, by Coach Nice. Yeah, just 23 seconds into the first half, he already has to use a timeout. Um, we'll see how that ends up affecting them, but uh, it did. It saved him a possession there, and um, – but Jackson Bruff underneath, he had an, in, in a real nice mismatch against um, the freshman there, Russell. And he just almost, he just shot it a little bit off the side of the backboard there. 
Um, he, I think he didn't know where he was. He got a little bit too low on the court, but that's a mismatch that the Lions are going to need to exploit. Yeah, nice job by Dean on the hustle there to uh, hustle for that rebound and actually, like you said, saved him the possession here. So the Lions to inbound underneath their own bucket. Lloyd will throw it in. He'll get it into Maul. Maul with it, looking, and he looks to get it out to Wilcox. Now he does. Alex with it, top of the key. He'll get it off to Lloyd here on the near wing. Lloyd will dribble it towards the baseline. Now back out to Maul. Maul with it. Senators in that 2-3 uh, uh, zone here as they get it into Dean now. He'll spin, tipped away from behind, but it goes to Maul as Russell almost stole that one away. Yeah, Russell's really active in this uh, defensive possession. He almost tipped the pass earlier and then made that uh, play there. Lloyd with it. He'll get it off the ball here on the near wing. Now down to Dean on the baseline. He'll spin. Finds Lloyd on the screen. The shot up from three land. No good. Rebound Titan Williams. Titan off and running with it as he brings it up quickly for the Senators. He'll hand it off to Cameron. Back out to Kenton Chase. Now to Rosenbaum. Far side off to Cameron. Jackson with it. Lloyd on him. He'll get it back out high to Williams. Now down low to Rosenbaum, and it gets tipped away. Another uh, steal by the Lions as Moe will bring it up quickly for Salem. Now he'll pull it back out, set the offense. Salem with a two-point lead, 17-15. Neither team been able to score here in this opening minute and a half of the third quarter. Now they find Lloyd wide open on the block, and he buries it. Yeah, pr pretty shot there for Evan. That's what he's looking to do every each and every time. And good job by Adam to find him. Did he call a foul on Wilcox? I think they gave him a warning, warning for touching the ball. After the shot went in, I guess they he tipped the ball back. So official just letting him know he couldn't do that. So the Senators back the other way, down four here. Kenton Chase with it off to Russell. Russell far side, out high to Rosenbaum. Ian, and he loses it again. That's two quick turnovers here. And back the other way, Dean with it, gets it to Lloyd. He'll shoot the three again. That one hits hard, and Rosenbaum hustles in for the rebound. He'll get it back to Chase. That ball almost got stuck there between the rim and the backboard. Chase spins in the lane, throws up a runner, can't get it. I tell you, the Senators just haven't been able to get their shots to fall. No, their shot selection's been very good, like just like there. Nice drive, finds a wide open shot, and it just doesn't fall for him. Nope. That'll come in time. Lloyd with it. He'll get it off to Wilcox. Wilcox far side. He'll dribble around the screen from Ruff. He'll take it baseline. Pulls up. Williams blocks it out of bounds. Yeah, good block there from Williams. And Alex just did a nice job. Got to his spot. Thought he had a nice look. And uh, Williams, nice defensive effort there to send that one into the stands. So Mullet will check in for Rosenbaum. Lions to inbound. They get it into Dean. And he's fouled as he hits the bucket. So Braxton Dean scores his fourth point of the night, and he'll go to the free throw line for an and one opportunity here. And he builds the lead up to six. Could be seven here with this free throw, the biggest lead of the night by either team, and West Washington with a timeout here. Yeah, and that's just a seven-point run there for Salem going into the um, – including what happened in the first half. Yep. We'll, uh, we'll stay here with you, even though it's a full timeout here, but uh, Dean will go to the free throw line. His first uh, opportunity up there tonight as he'll step up there. He scored his fourth point on that bucket and uh, got fouled from behind. That foul was called against uh, Carson Mullet, who picked up his first for the Senators. So neither team in any foul trouble. Haven't seen a whole lot of fouls. No, the refs have pretty well let them play tonight. There's been a couple times where I thought that Maybe a call should have been made when it wasn't, but it's been a pretty well officiated game. They haven't. It's not like they've made a bad call just one way and not made up for it on the other end. Right. West Washington just still looking for their first points here of the second half, and uh, they've had some good shots, but just haven't been able to get them to fall. And Salem's really just kind of out hustling them right now. They've done a nice job running their offense, and we've seen that on that cut by Dean. He makes a great cut to the basket. They get him the ball, he scores it, and he'll go to the free throw line, a chance to take this up to a seven point advantage if he can knock down this free throw. Yeah, still a lot of time to go in the game, but the way that the teams are scoring right now, seven points is a lot. It is a lot. Free throws up, no good, in and out. Rebound though by Wilcox, back up and in. So not a very good job there boxing out. It turns into a four point play and these Lions lead at 23 to 15 here, an eight point lead. 
Yeah, much just effort by Salem. I mean, they had two guys that were in deep yep. in rebounding position there, and the Senators didn't have anyone. Russell on the drive gets fouled there. They're going to call that one. I believe against uh, Wilcox out. That's his first. Yeah, offensively, I think that Salem's offense has looked a lot better than the Senators. I mean, West Washington hasn't ran a lot of, like, sets, and Salem's ran all their sets, that, and they've worked pretty well. There's one there, out of bounds play. They get it to Cameron. He tries to hit the three and can't. Tipped out of bounds by Williams. So it'll go back to the Lions here, up eight. A chance to make this a double-digit lead here as uh, West Washington is still yet to score here in the second half. Yeah, Camber went to the floor there after he shot that three, but the contact was weak, if any, and he's going to foul Adam. Yep, so Cameron uh, picks up his second personal. And they'll set up here to inbound. Braxton Dean will kick it in for the Lions here. I'm surprised that they have um, Kenton Chase at the back end of this yeah. press. He's probably their quickest kid, and he's really not involved in the press. Nope. Not at all, as uh, Lloyd has a little trouble handling it. Gets it back, gets it off to Dean. Dean now to bring it up. He'll get it across the timeline, gets trapped, gets it off the mall. Adam with it. And Cameron bumps him again. He just picked up his third personal. That's two in a row on Jackson. He's got to be a little tougher uh, and not quite get as much contact. Colton Brown going to come in for him now. Yeah, that's a really touchy foul. I don't really love to see that one called, especially how it, how it had been um, called in the first half. But still, there was definitely contact there. And um, could have been an over and back there by Salem, by yeah, the way. could have been. Maul uh, gets it on the inbounds. He'll hand it off to Lloyd. Eight-point lead for Salem, looking to build it up to double digits. They'll get it inside to Dean, tipped away by Chase. But Maul gets it back off to Wilcox. Now far side to Lloyd. Back out to Maul. Maul with it. Drives inside, goes in strong, and got it. He gets his fourth point of the night. And a 10-point lead here. West Washington still not able to score here in this uh, third quarter. Yeah, 11-point run, unanswered points for the Senators, and they need to get a bucket here pretty quick. Williams with it, gets it off to Kenton Chase. He'll drive it, kicks it out. Colton Brown will shoot that three, and he got it. i tell you, Colton can shoot the basketball, and they needed a bucket, and he got them one there. So... 18 now for the Senators, 25, seven-point lead for Salem as they lead it, 25-18. Colton almost with a steal. Maul pulls it down, gets it to Wilcox, wide open three. Air ball, he missed that one badly. Gets it off to uh, Kenton Chase on the rebound, and Kenton will bring it up quickly. He'll drive inside, kicks it out. Rosenbaum will shoot the three now. That's off the mark. Rebound inside, pulled down finally by Maul. He'll come out of the pack with it. And I tell you, really, it's just a out hustling uh, the Senators right now or the Lions, I feel like. Yeah, I think that they want it just a little bit more yeah. than West Washington. Lloyd with it, gets it back out to Maul. Brown on him. Maul drives, takes it inside, and Titan Williams kind of <laughs> give him a hug there as yeah. he went down the lane. So Titan's got to be careful, too. That's his second. Yeah, not really sure what the defensive effort there was for uh, tight and he did he just kind of grabbed him and um, that's a pretty obvious call there for the refs they're going to check Adam Mole and Jackson Bruff out and Shastine will check in as well as Romero so Shastine then bounded he'll get it into Dean Dean with it out high to Mole seven point lead here by the Lions 25-18 308 to go in the third Dean will pull it up shoots a high arcing shot and it goes in that's just a, that's a shot that uh, I'm really surprised went in there. There was a ton of contest there, and he made a move and hit the shot. Kenton Chase drives it, can't get it to go. Moe with the rebound. So Senators shooting uh, woes continue here as they've only had one bucket here in this third quarter. Moe with it on the attack, drives inside, dishes to Romero. He scores it. His first bucket of the night. And it's 29 to 18 now, 11 point lead, the biggest of the night. And West Washington uh, just back on their heels here. Uh, we'll have a full timeout. We'll take a break and come back here on your home for Senator Sports. West United Producers Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, 
and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at youproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812-620-0769. Again, that is 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. All right, West Washington having to take a timeout here with uh, 2.36 to go in the third quarter, down 11 as it's been all Salem in this quarter. Only the one three-pointer by Colton Brown for the Senators here after the halftime, and they're just looking for some offense here. Kent and Chase will bring it across the timeline for West Washington, desperately needing a bucket. They'll get it to Russell, now to Williams. Williams out to Brown, he'll get another three ball. Can't get that one to go, rebound Wilcox as he pulls it down. Now he'll hand it off to Short, back in the game for Salem. Yeah, Salem on a 17 to three run here, and um, they're working inside, making another one. They'll get it out to uh, Shastain. Now back out to Dean. He looks at a three. Now off to Shastain. Wyatt with it, looking, kicks it far side to Short. Short looking inside, gets it down, almost stolen by, uh, yeah, it is stolen as the Senators come up with it. They'll kick it to Chase. He'll go in strong, can't get the bucket. Battle for the board. Kenton back to Ian, and he gets hammered inside there as uh, Hembry, I think, knocked him to the deck. Yeah, and that's the most aggressive that we've seen West Washington play all night there on that. A nice steal there initiated by Rosenbaum, went the other way with it, um, and then a nice pass ahead. Kenton missed, it, missed the layup, but he stayed engaged in the play. That's something that we haven't seen as um, Rosenbaum's first free throws up, and it's good. Yeah, that foul actually was on short as uh, he committed the personal. Bruff back in for Dean here, so 10-point ball game as Ian will have a second free throw coming here. The second one's up, and it's good as well. So 29 to 20, a nine-point advantage for Salem. Chastine with it. He'll bring it across the timeline and almost got it stolen from behind. He'll get it down low to Romero. He'll go up strong, can't get it. Rebound, though, Bruff back up. He can't get it. Rebound, Rosenbaum. Probably fortunate there wasn't a goaltending call there yeah. as he touched the backboard while the shot was up. That's not allowed. Rosenbaum will pull it down, shoot the three, and he hits one. So Ian gets one to go. And it's 23 to 29, a six-point lead here for the Lions. So West Washington's starting to heat up a little bit finally. Short will drive the basket, gets a block from behind by Russell but they're gonna call him for the fouls. He got him with the body, that'll be his second. Yeah, I think his arm was just in the back of short there as he went up, beautiful block. Um, not terrible defense, but he just fouled him enough for Aiden to go to the line to shoot a pair. Well, it was good good awareness there by short as he beat him off the dribble and then took it to the hole and uh, Russell trying to play from behind. So short gets his first bucket of the night, a free throw there. So he scores it, 30 to 23, a seven point lead. He'll get another one here. Second free throw coming, he eyes it, flies it, and that one rims out. Battle for the board, he got it back, goes in, can't score it, Romero there, and he gets fouled on the floor. So Senator's not doing a good job rebounding. They no. have got to learn to box out. That's just a hustle play there from Aiden, misses the free throw but he stays engaged in the play, gets his own rebound, goes up again, and then um, finally Romero was able to come up with it, and he got fouled going up, so he'll shoot two. Yep, he'll go to the line. That's the fifth uh, team foul on uh, West Washington, so Romero will step up there for a couple free throws. His first one's up, and it bangs off the back of the rim. No good. Second one will come here. Seven-point lead, 30-23 Salem. Romero's second one's up and it, that one's good. So 31, 23, an eight point lead. Russell to bring it up for the Senators. He'll cross the timeline, dribbles far side, gets it off to Kenton Chase, back to Russell. Now to Cameron, who's back in the game, off to Rosenbaum. He'll kick it off to Kenton. Kenton drives far side, goes in strong and scores it. 
And, and the bucket's good and a foul on Romero, I believe. And that's just what they have to do. I mean, um, beautiful drive there from Kent. No one's, like, like we said, no one's going to be able to keep up with him, especially when they're uh, going to pressure him that closely. And he uh, picked up the foul. I'm not sure where the contact really was there. <laughs> it had um, to be body. Yeah. I didn't think Romero hit him with a hand. Kent, uh, you know, Romero had to play over, help side defense, and he just was in the wrong place at the wrong time. And But that's what West Washington has to do. Kenton has to take the ball on the drive, and he does, and he makes some pay, gets a three-point play here out of it. Yeah, I mean, that's just that's just the attack they have to have, and Salem's help side defense was actually pretty good yeah, there. Yeah, it was. It was just a good shot from Kenton. 26, short, having trouble with it. He double dribbled, yeah. He picked it up, so he turns it over, and it'll go back to West Washington. Senators trying to eat their way back into it. It was down by as many as 11. And they've got it down to five now, so Lloyd will check back in for short, who will come out of the game. He played hard, I tell you. Uh, I like his hustle. Yeah, I mean, especially on that on the free throws. Yeah. Um, just hustle play there, that, and he was able to um, get an extra possession for the Lions, rebounding his own free throw, which you hardly ever see. Don't see that a lot. So 25 seconds now to go here in the third quarter. Senators down five. Colton Brown gets it off to Chase, far side to Russell. Russell with it, 18 seconds now back to Kenton, back to Russell. He'll bring it back out high, and they'll set the offense here with about 10. And he gets fouled. They come out and foul him. So they've got fouls to give, and that's why they're doing that, I believe, as Dean stepped out there to commit his second personal. Yeah, we saw that in the first half, um, kind of just they're using fouls because – Kind of, if you don't right. use them, you lose you them. Lose so them. Yeah, they're right. going to make them inbound the ball. The only risk to that is you're just giving a guy a personal foul. So yep. we'll see if that hurts him. It may not tonight, but later in the season. They'll get it in the backcourt to Russell with eight seconds. He'll get it off to Cameron. Cameron off to Rosenbaum. Ian with it. Back to Kenton. Off to Russell in the corner for the three. No good at the buzzer. So that'll be the end of the third quarter. Salem with the five point lead. They lead it here. 31-26, we'll take a break, come back with the fourth quarter here. You're home for Senator Sports, West Washington live stream. Links Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. All right, back here live as we get ready to start the fourth quarter. Nick, uh, you know, didn't think there was a whole lot of scoring. There wasn't for West Washington early on, but they finish the uh, third quarter uh, with 11 points to Salem's 14. So the Lions built on that two-point lead. They lead it by five here heading into the fourth quarter. Yeah, and I mean, Salem really took the momentum at the beginning of the half and started running away with it. And then West Washington's battled back slowly but surely and they have the ball to come out here on the fourth quarter. They they shouldn't feel too bad about no, themselves right now. I mean, really they definitely shouldn't. they definitely have the momentum. As poorly as they have shot it, and as much as Salem has out hustled them there in that third quarter, to only be down five here, they're really lucky. Um, you know, part of that was two three pointers. They got one from Rosenbaum and another one from Colton Brown. And so you know, th those two shots were huge for the Senators. And they've got to just keep chipping away at it here. I still like Kenton Drive on the chase on the uh, Kenton Chase on the drive. I said Kenton Drive <laughs> on the chase, but uh, yeah, that's what he's got to do. And he'll take the ball here to start the fourth quarter. Off to Russell, far side, holding with it. Now gets it to Williams. Williams goes back door to Kenton. He'll take a baseline, flips it back to Rosenbaum, eight footer. He got it. Good play there from West Washington, and they did. They hit Kenton on a cut. He. He beat Adam by a step. Kenton gathered himself, gave it to Rosenbaum, and hit a beautiful shot. 31-28, Salem Mole now down the lane. He gets cut off, and he double dribbled with it, it looked like. So a turnover by the Lions. 
It'll go back to West Washington. Senators trying to chip their way back in it here. They were down 11 at one point, and they've uh, made a little run here in the late minutes of the third quarter and here to begin the fourth quarter. So Russell to bring it up for West Washington as he'll bring it across the timeline. He'll set the offense here, gets it off. Kenton Chase far side, back to Russell, now to Cameron. Off to Rosenbaum here on the near wing. He and a wheel around, looks, sends Kenton back door, now flips it off to him. And they'll pop back out. Kenton will flip it over to Russell. Russell now to Rosenbaum, back to Russell. Now to Kenton Chase, far side to Cameron. Jackson with it, wheels around, kicks it off to Kenton. Kenton now. Takes it on the attack, blows by everybody, throws it up, got it to go. Yeah, change of speed there from Kenton Chase, and that was a real nice move. He was kind of lackluster in his in his movement, and then all of a sudden just a quick burst of speed, and Adam wasn't ready for it, got around him and laid it in for the easy two. One-point game, 31-30, and a timeout called here by Coach Nice here with 6.39 to go here in the fourth quarter. So it'll be a full timeout. We'll take another break. And we'll come back here as the Lions lead at 31 to 30 over the West Washington Senators. If you talk and they will hear you every single time. Oh, we're getting killed. Yeah, well, Kyle's not here. How come? Kicked off the team. Didn't Tim tell you? Kyle and some other kids got caught drinking beer in the park a couple of nights ago. Really? Yeah. Zero tolerance. He's out for the season. Come on, it's a first offense, right? That we know of. But why should that matter? He knew not to drink. I've made it clear to Matt, that's what we expect from him. What have you said to Tim? Um, nothing really. You know, a lot of kids try it at this age, so. I... Yeah, well, a lot of kids don't try it too. I'm not saying that Matt's gonna be this perfect kid, but if I don't tell him what we expect and why he shouldn't drink, how's he gonna know? You think kids that age really listen? <laughs> they never admit it, Bill, but they hear more than you think. Talk, they hear you. For more information about talking with kids about underage drinking, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. All right, back here live here after the timeout, 6.39 to go in the ball game as the Lions lead it by one, 31 to 30. Adam Ball with it for Salem. He'll get it off to Wilcox. Wilcox back out to Dean, top the circle, back to Maul, far side. He looks in there, can't get it in, gets it to Wilcox. He thought about a three, now pulls it down, drives the lane, throws it up, got it. Salem needed that basket there. West Washington was on a 10-3 uh, to three run, and they extend their lead back out to uh, five points, or excuse me, three points. 33-30 here, so as you mentioned, a three-point lead. Kenton Chase on the drive, he takes it in, dishes to Williams, he can't handle it, now gets it off to Russell. Goes between his legs to Rosenbaum, now back to Williams. Titan with it, spins, tipped away, now he gets it to Russell, holding a drive, and foul on the floor. They're gonna get Jackson Ruff for his third personal. Yeah, Jackson needs to be careful not to pick up another one here in the next couple of possessions. They really need him on the court just because of how hard he plays. Yep. So Kent chased the inbound, he'll throw it out high to Williams, can't handle it, now he pulls it down. Tipped away again by Bruff. Now off to Holden Russell. Russell with it. Gets it off to Kenton Chase. Kenton will drive it back out. No reset here. Down three, 33-30. Kenton drives in. He's drawing the crowd. Gets it out to Rosenbaum. Deep three off the back of the rim. Ruff with the rebound. Salem back the other way. Maul bring it up quickly. Drives, spins in the lane. Almost lost it. Kicks it out. Wilcox is three. Off the mark. Man, they got away with a push there as Maul uh, give uh, Jackson Cameron a shove. Yeah, there at the end of the play, they definitely did get away with one. Um, nonetheless, Salem goes to the line. Beautiful uh, shot attempt there from Wilcox and just missed the three. That would have been huge. They called that on Titan Williams, his fourth. And Bruff at the line, his first free throws up, spins out no good. Jackson, not a great free throw shooter, but they need him here to hit this one. It's just a three-point game. Still, I know there's a lot of time, but there's a dif big difference oh, in three and four points. You're exactly right. So he'll get the second one. It's up, and that one off the front of the rim. Russell with the rebound. So Bruff unable to get either free throw to go, and the Senators still down three here. Kent Chase with it. Salem just two of nine on free throws. Yeah, that's been the one down mark, really, for them. Chase drives, goes to Titan, now back out to Russell. He's short on the three ball. 
off the front of the rim. Chase saves it though, but no. Titan had to kick it, or Ian had to kick it inbounds, and they'll get it up to Wilcox. Wilcox will take it now for Salem, gets it off the mall. Mall will control it out high. He'll kick it to Wilcox here on the near wing. Now back to Mall, almost Owen, and Russell does come up with a steal. He'll drive, goes in strong, and he's fouled on the floor as Mall picks up his second personal. Yeah, and Mole does not want to use his right hand. That's one thing. Yeah. He's He wants to use his left hand, and if you force him right, he's prone to turning it over just like he did there. Colton Brown will check in for Williams. He's got those four fouls, so he's going to have to sit for a little bit. Rosenbaum will kick it in with 440 to go here. Down three, 33-30. Ian gets it into Cameron. It'll come back out to Colton Brown. Colton now off to Russell. Russell off to Kenton Chase. He'll look inside. Now goes low to Rosenbaum, and he falls down. Thought he was tripped, and uh, no call, so a turnover against the Senators. No, I didn't see a lot of contact there. No, I think he right. did. He just fell he just down. Fell. West Washington back in that full court press. It didn't work real well in the first half, but they're going to try it again here. They do have Chase out there now chasing people, and Cameron almost fouls, and that's stolen away. Russell, he'll get it up to Kenton. He'll drive it and score it. And we said it earlier, they had Chase at the back end of yep. that press and it wasn't working. They move him up to the top of the press See and he makes happened. a play. Yep. Braxton Dean with it, he'll get it off to Lloyd. He'll drive, goes in strong. Rosenbaum there to contest it and a foul gonna be called as Lloyd come in for the rebound. And something that oftentimes, go, oftentimes goes unnoticed is Jackson had uh, Ian Rosenbaum sealed underneath the basket there and that's really what led um, Evan on that drive. He's able to get all the way to the rim. Didn't make the shot, but a good job there by Bra by Jackson. Chase uh, with the foul and Bruff back at the line. And oh, Jackson really struggles up there, but that's something he'll he'll work on. He'll get better at it, and he'll get another one here. 33-32, one point lead for Salem. Bruff second one. He got that one to go, so he hits one of two. 34-32 here with uh, 3:56 to go in the contest. Just like we thought it'd be a barn burn. <laughs> yeah, it's been close all night, and um, I think we're going to end for a finish. Jackson Cameron with a three. Finally got one to go, and he drills a big one there as the Senators take a one-point lead, 35-34. Pressure here. Mole gets it off to Lloyd. He'll shoot the three, and that one's good. Lloyd, Lloyd. Lloyd just responds there with a three-point shot of his own. I was just about to say I'll be curious yep. to see how they answer, but that answered my question. Cameron again in the corner. He hits another one, so it's back to back to back here as the three balls have started to fall, and a steal by Chase, and he scores it. So Kenton just snuck in there and took that away on the inbound, and the Senators out to a three-point lead here, 40-37. And finally, some fire out of West Washington. Yeah, I mean, they had been pretty dead yes. the first the first three quarters of the game almost. And they come out there, hit a, hit a shot, and it gets them going. I mean, and really what's saving Salem is that response there from Evan, yes. Evan Lloyd hit that three of himself, or it would be a, yep. a six-point game right now. But he was able to knock down that three. And Salem has to be way more careful with the ball. I mean, right now, uh, they're turning it over a little bit too much. And their shot selection the last three minutes of this game hasn't been as good as it was early. I agree, Nick. And I think, it, just as you said, when the, when things start to fall, you get a little momentum. Cameron's come down, hit two three-pointers. Then Kenton able to steal the ball on the inbounds. And with Kenton at the front of that press, it's totally different than it was when we seen it in the first half. Yeah, and that's what I said. I said, yeah. why? That's what I told you. I was like, you know, I don't, I don't know why they're not playing him at the front end of that press because – he is the most athletic one on the court both for both for either side. They do that, and then he's just able to use his athleticism and get a tip away steal. Yeah, absolutely, and that was just a hustle play by him. So it gives the Senators their first uh, uh, three-point advantage of the night as they uh, get it on the inbound steal, and uh, the press has given them a little trouble here, has Salem. So deemed inbound, he'll get it into Lloyd. Off to Dean again. He'll bring it up quickly. Breaks the timeline. Cameron now on him. Now they'll get it to Mole. Russell take him on defense. Lloyd with it. Oh, well, he, traveled. he traveled. He yep. sure did. And that's probably the guy you want to pressure. 
you know, and not nothing against Evan, but, you know, he doesn't have that much experience. It's a tight game. You got to put some pressure oh, on somebody. I absolutely agree, and really, he's not real strong with the ball. He's a great shooter, yeah. but um, with the ball in his hand, he's not super comfortable, so I would expect West Washington to pressure him the rest of this game. Kenton Chase with it off to Cameron, who's had the hot hand recently for the Senators. Back to Chase. Chase now to uh, Colton Brown, now back out to Cameron, far side to Russell. Holding with it. Rough on him. He'll drive now. Takes it strong to the rim. Nice move by the freshman as he takes it in and scores. Yeah, beautiful move there for him on uh, against Jackson Bruff. Jackson Bruff's just a little bit slower, maybe a step or two slower, and he took advantage. Out to a five-point lead for the Senators here, 42-37 with 2.25 to go. And deemed inbounds after it was tipped out by the Senators. It'll come in tomorrow. Adam will pull it down, bring it across the timeline. What a great game so far, Nick. Yeah, I mean, I thought it got to 11 points, Salem lead, and I thought, man, they're yeah. in complete control. West Washington battled back, and they made a game out of it. Now they're going to get a foul on Rosenbaum as uh, they got it down low on the block there to Bruff, and he done a nice job of backing his opponent down and then uh, Ian trying to reach in there and get the steal. Yeah, and Jackson had a hold in Russell on him, 5'11". Jackson's probably right at about 6'1". He had the height advantage and the weight advantage on him, and he took advantage of the matchup, Just uh, and he was able to draw the foul. Lloyd the inbound. He'll throw it way out high. It'll come in, tipped by Russell. Ooh, and it looked like Mo might have got a hand on it, but it's going to go back to Salem. Hard for the official to tell there. The ball went up high, and... Uh, Salem will inbound here right in front of the scorer's bench. As Dean to get it in, he'll throw it in the backcourt to Maul. 2.06 to go in the contest. Salem looking for some offense now. Maul with it, gets it off to Lloyd. He looks down inside, now pulls up. He'll shoot another deep one. Can't get that one to go. Titan Williams with the rebound. Off to Kenton Chase, and West Washington just needs to slow down here a little bit. Time is in their favor. Yeah, that, that shot attempt I don't love. It was, looked a little bit rushed, and it was off of um, kind of a little bit two or three feet behind the line. I think they could have got a better shot there, but I don't fault Evan for shooting it. He's got the hot hand. He has had the hot hand, so they'll get it off to Russell with the Senators, and he palmed it. Sure did. He turns it over. Yeah, a minute and 30 seconds left. West Washington's up by five, but this game's far from over, especially oh, yeah. we saw it in the JV game went <laughs> yeah. double overtime. These guys could do the same. It could. Dean inbound. He'll get it in the mall. Now Lloyd will bring it up, and like we said before, they need to probably pressure him a little bit. He'll kick it off to Bruff. Bruff off to Dean now. Braxton with it. Gets it off to Lloyd. Far side. Back to Dean. Dean off the ball here on the near wing. Adam will drive it baseline. Tip from behind by Russell. I tell you, Holden Russell is just kind of deceiving. He, he's a lot quicker than what he looks. And I don't mean that in a bad way. He just, he's real good on those back tips. And he tips that one out of bounds. It'll come into Lloyd. He'll pull it down now. Brings it back out. It'll come to Dean. Top of the circle. 106 to go. He'll look inside the bruff. Stolen. And bad pass. Tipped away. Yep. As that just that just that was something that um, Braxton tried to force underneath there. Jackson wasn't really open, and the pass wasn't there. So we're going to get a foul. Yeah, Adam all going to step out and foul Kenton Chase with fouls to give with this new rule. You know, you got five. That's only the third on Salem, so no free throws yet. Under a minute to go, and Senators with a five-point lead. So they just need to take care of the basketball here. Ian Rosenbaum inbound. He'll get it to Kenton Chase, and that's the guy you want to have the ball. Another foul by Maul. Yeah, and I think Sa Salem's That's just going to have to start fouling because, yeah, so the fourth foul on Adam, that makes it interesting. Yeah, he now, can't foul now. You, I, don't think that, I don't think they want Adam on Kenton right now. No. They need to move him on to someone else because he can't foul or yeah, he he's just, out of the game. He can just run the clock out. Now they bring Wilcox up to foul him. And that's only uh, Alex's second, but that's the 15 foul. So now we got free throws. Now it just comes down to Will yep. West Washington knock in their free throws. They're seven of seven. They were at the end of the third quarter. I'm not sure, including yeah, this quarter. Yeah, you're right. That's what I've got them for. Seven of seven, as Kenton has been perfect. He's three of three up there. I probably just jinxed him, but he'll get a couple of them. First one is good. So the six-point lead, and this is probably the most important free throw of the night so far. That six points, two possessions, seven pushes it to three, three, and there's only 48 seconds on the clock. True, good point, Nick, as he'll step up there. Second one's up, and he hits them both. 
West Washington is going to stay in that press. I'm a little bit surprised it is a 1-3-1. Steal as Kenton takes it away and gets it off to Rosenbaum. Ian with it, now back to Kenton, and they'll foul him. Lloyd will come in. And that's just not a good pass there from Adam Moe. We have saw it on back-to-back -back possessions. The first one, Braxton tried to force it into Bruff, and it wasn't there. That pass wasn't there for Adam either. I think he just got a little bit rattled with the press with two guys in his face, and he just turned it over. 33 seconds now, and Kenton Chase back at the line. He's been automatic up there tonight, and he still is as he hits the first one. Yep, so now it's an eight-point lead, and there's only 38 seconds left. Salem's going to have to – they're not in panic mode quite yet, but they're getting close. Second one's up, and it's good as well. So he hits them both. 46 to 37, a nine-point lead. Biggest of the night for the Senators. And, you know, really for – we'll stay here. Uh, for three and a half quarters, Salem really outplayed them. You know, uh, Senators just took control there um, – about uh, six minutes to go. You know, they they uh, got some shots to fall. Two big three-pointers there by Cameron. A couple baskets uh, by Russell. And then uh, Rosenbaum hit one as well. But Kenton Chase has been hot. He's got ten points here in this fourth quarter alone. And he's kind of been the catalyst. And that's what we said early on. He'll have to be for West Washington to win ball games. Yeah, and it's a 13-3 to run that's really been the killer for Salem. I mean, yeah. They came into the fourth quarter actually with the, with the lead. Um, and they played a real good – they started out the second half really well, but at about the four-minute mark in that uh, third quarter, things started to change, and it's been a completely different story after that point. Yeah, it sure has been. A nine-point lead now, 46-37, as the Senators uh, probably going to get out of here with a win with 38 seconds. But you never know. Three balls can go in, and we'll see what happens here. Dean Dan bound. Yeah, look for Evan Lloyd to take the shot here for Salem as he is their best shooter. He gets it into Lloyd. Lloyd dribbles far side, double team now, and they try to steal it. It gets off the bruff in the corner to Wilcox. He pulls it down. He loses it out of bounds. So, so. three straight turnovers on three yeah. straight possessions for the Lions, and uh, with 26 seconds to go down by uh, nine. It's not over, but it's pretty close. Yeah, they've done a good job of digging their way back into it here, have the Senators into Kenton Chase. He'll pull it down. They foul him as Wilcox reaches in on him. It's his third personal. And he'll go back to the line. Well, Kenton, like we said, he's got ten points here in this quarter. Uh, three field goals and four free throws as he'll step up there and shoot a couple more. First one's up and it's good. Ten yeah, point game. like you said, he's been automatic from the line tonight, hasn't missed one yet. Well, that's the one thing that he's able to do for West Washington. He's always been a good free throw shooter. And he'll shoot another one here. It's up, and he, I jinxed him. Re Rosenbaum with the rebound back up, can't get it to go, tips it again. And now Jackson Cameron slides in there and gets the board, and he's fouled. Yeah, and 10-point game with 17 seconds. I'm a little bit surprised that Salem would foul there, but you never know. They're just trying to drag the game out, and uh, when you're the team that's behind, you can do that. Looks like West Washington's going to empty their bench here, so uh, 17 seconds left. Jackson Cameron at the line now. As he'll step up there. First time he's been up there tonight. First one's up and good. He's probably our second best free throw shooter. Yeah, he's he played he's played a pretty good game. Those two threes that he hit really is Huge. what turned the game. Yeah, they did. And you know, he had a couple open looks in, earlier in the game, just couldn't knock them down. But those two there in the fourth quarter, he was able to knock down. And now uh, he'll step to the line, second free throws up, and he got it. So, 49. so, yeah, that 12-point lead yeah. with 17 seconds. And um, with West Washington empty in their bench, it's pretty much all she wrote for this one. Moe will bring it up quickly for Salem. He'll pull it down. Gets it inside the bruff. He'll spin. Goes up strong. Can't get it to go. Rebound pulled down by Jackson Wiseman. He'll get it off the mullet. Or, no, that, uh, that was Morrow. And they'll just dribble out the clock. So the Senators going to come away with a big victory here. And uh, what a fourth quarter for West Washington. You know that? I had them 8, 10, 12, 16, 18, 20, 
23 points in this quarter. So. Yeah, I mean, that's really what was the uh, turning point of the game was that fourth quarter, like we just said. Cambridge hit those two threes, and uh, they got a steal and a bucket, and that's pretty much what did it for Salem. Yeah, it did. I mean, they, they limited Salem to six points in that fourth quarter, outscored them there 23-6, to six, and uh, took the, uh, the victory here 49-37. to 37. And I think you've got the final stats there, so we'll let you run them down for uh, both teams and individuals here. Yeah, so West Washington uh, doing the scoring for them. Jackson Cameron, eight points. Titan Williams, four. Uh, Russell with two. Ian Rosenbaum, 11. Kenton Chase with 18 points on eight of nine free throw shooting. And he's really who uh, turned the game for them. Mol uh, Colton Brown had six points for the total of 49. For the Lions, Adam Mull with four points. Evan Lloyd with eight. Alex Wilcox played a real nice game and tallied up 12 points. Um, Jackson Bruff had three, Braxton Dean six, Aiden Short one, and then lastly, Caden Romero had three. So Salem final, 37, West Washington 49, and the Senators 14 of 15 on free throws. That's really what sealed the deal for them at the end. Yeah, it really was as they shot uh, 10 free throws in that fourth quarter alone, and they were nine of 10 in that quarter. Chase just missed the one, so... You know, I mean, like I said, it was a tale of, uh, you know, Salem really controlled the game for the first uh, three uh, quarters and uh, not quite a half uh, as the Senators really, they didn't score. We only had uh, ended up with 11 points in the third quarter, but, man, it was late in the third quarter before we ever scored. We were stuck on 15 for a long time, and, uh, you know, it just uh, the kids hung around. I will say that for them. They were resilient. And I think both teams probably figured out here tonight some things that they need to work on and moving forward, uh, you know, it'll be interesting to see how both teams improve. But I tell you, Salem really impressed me with their hustle. They played uh, hard. They played fast and, uh, and and done a nice job in the game. It just got away from them there at the end. They might have got a little tired. Yeah. Even though they were uh, subbing a lot more, but they, they couldn't sub as much in that second half. And so. they started to turn it over too. I mean, yeah. I remember saying that they had three straight turnovers on three possessions, and I think the Senators scored on all three um, of the following possessions for them. Uh, finally, Salem 13 turnovers, West yeah. Washington 8. So you look at that, there's a five There's five uh, turnover difference there. Points off of turnovers. Here's the story of the game, 19 points for West Washington and only four for the Lions. Yeah, there you go. So that – and that really come late. Most of that was in the, the second half of the third quarter and the fourth quarter. So, you know, a nice job by uh, West Washington. You know, they they turned up their defense a little bit there. The press really got them going. And then, as you mentioned earlier, Jackson Cameron really kind of changed the game when he hit those two three-pointers back-to-back. And uh, that just kind of gave West Washington the lead and the momentum that they needed to seal the deal here in the fourth quarter. So. Once again, Nick, I appreciate you coming on with us tonight uh, here to help us out, and hopefully we can do this some more in the future coming up here. Uh, got the holiday tournament coming up this year down at uh, Borden, I believe. So these two teams could see each other again uh, with that uh, tournament coming up here right before Christmas. Yeah, I mean, thanks you for having me again. It's always fun doing it, and uh, I, we, got, we got to witness a great game. That I mean, was. I thought that um, both teams played pretty well. West Washington, West Washington played really well for about a quarter and a half. They did just enough yep. in the first two and a half quarters to stay in it. It wasn't like they played a great game, but they did enough to stay in it, and then they turned it up there at the end. And Salem played four pretty good quarters. I mean, they're just yeah, they, they did. did. I think they, I think like you said, they ran out of energy a little bit. I agree. They weren't as sharp with their offensive sets there in the last later bit of the third quarter in the fourth quarter, and that's really what turned the game. Got to remember, too, you know, Salem didn't have their, you know, one of their best scores in, the, uh, you know, Jaden Cheatwood. So they're going to get him back. That's going to make a big difference for them. That They got another guy that can score the basket, and uh, that, that should make a difference for the Lions moving forward. So good luck to both teams from here on out, and, uh, you know, I uh, hope everyone has a very safe, very great happy thanksgiving here from us and uh you know did want to mention i meant to do this earlier but both the live st stream uh, programs here the one at salem run by uh, mr wade swift and then the one here uh, by mr acres at west washington if you want to 
jump on board and uh, sponsor either one of those programs. Contact the schools. Let them know that you would like to uh, sponsor. It's a great way to uh, support these kids and then also get your, uh, get your business out there and uh, let it be known that they can hear it here uh, on both live stream pro, uh, programs, as I'm sure you'll be doing the Salem games moving forward, and uh, we'll be here on uh, West Washington live stream uh, with the rest of the season as well. So um, a final comment. I mean, I thought it was a great game. Thank you for letting me do it, and um, I hope everyone has a safe Thanksgiving tomorrow. Thank you. I wish we could work together all season yeah. long. I think we could maybe go somewhere with this deal. <laughs> if you'll stay with me and drive me to the games and help me get into my seat like I about fell 100 <laughs> times getting in here tonight, we'll be all right. Uh, but, uh, yeah, maybe this is something we could do on ESPN or something. You know, if, so if anybody's looking for announcers, me and Nick are available. Start going up to Bloomington, do some IU <laughs> there you games. Go. It ain't going to be long. Don Fisher told me he was going to retire here in a couple of years. So that might be something. If, and if I, if I would be fortunate enough to get that job, I'd drag you with me. We <laughs> could just uh, go up there and have a great time at Bloomington. So that would be an awesome experience. But, no, thank you once again. And as we mentioned, thank you to everyone. Happy Thanksgiving uh, for uh, – for everyone here at West Washington and also everyone at Salem, we want to wish you the best Thanksgiving. And uh, that's all the time we've got. So God bless you, and we'll send it back over to Mr. Akers here at the board.